Hi everyone, this is Jen Grisanti and I am here and very excited to tell you about a product that I am launching in October. Uh, I have been working very long and very hard on this product because I have wanted to have a product that teaches the writer all the different steps of the process to writing the TV pilot that sells. And I have been fortunate in that 45 of the writers that I've worked with over the last 10 years have sold pilots. So I took everything that I teach at Writers on the Verge at NBC and everything that I have taught at seminars around the world and in my writing retreats, and I put it into this video instructional training series on how to write the TV pilot. This will become available in October. My, my intention for launching this product really was the recognition that I can only do my 10 week teleseminar once a year and I have so many people ask me, do I have ongoing classes? Do I have something that they can take when it is not the time of year that I am teaching my 10 week teleseminar? So that was what fueled my desire to prompt this training video series. So to give you an idea of some of what you'll learn, you're gonna really learn my story system and everything from the log line to the concept, to the outline, to the script of what it takes to tell the type of pilot story that is outside of the box and also how you add your emotional truth to it so that you establish why you are the perfect writer to be writing this pilot. Uh, I'm going to share with you a little bit. I'm going to give you a little hint of what's in it with my pitch document formula. So, so many of you don't know how to get started on your TV pilot, and there certainly are people who believe you should do the pitch document after you've written the pilot. I definitely believe that that is a good approach, and I do encourage that, but I also recommend that you think about your pitch document before you write your pilot as a way to really get your concept out there and and really start to dive into what is the show that you want to write and what is the story that you want to tell. So my formula for a pitch document is explanation or definition of title, write your series log line, so I like writers to write a series logline and a pilot logline. Now a series logline is a summary of your series, whereas a pilot logline is a summary of your A story. Uh, so they're different loglines. Uh, then I want you to write a concept. So really the concept portion of your pitch document is you explaining in your own words what your concept is. And, and this is definitely valuable because it gives us a glimpse inside of you and your voice and how you see your concept. Then I would like for you to write a pilot logline and next uh, themes for your show, then write a small paragraph for your main characters. So the biggest lesson that I've learned in hearing thousands of pitches is that the most often the time that the writer loses their audience is when they ramble on and on about the characters. So the rule of thumb is share a paragraph on three of your main characters. If there are other crucial characters, certainly go into them, but, but really go into your three main characters or your one main character that is driving your story. And, and many people will be like, well, what three characters do I choose? 
in thinking about what characters you choose. You want to think about what it, who is the character driving your A story, who is the character driving your B story, and who is the character driving your C story. Uh, and those are the characters you want to give us uh, a glimpse of. And then write a paragraph about the backstory of your central character. So your central character is what you're going to go deeper into. Next, you're going to go into character dynamics. I'm a huge believer that the dynamics between your characters, especially in the internal story, are what brings your audience back. So really thinking about this section and how you can best explain the dynamics between your characters is a great way to go. And then lastly, write log lines for the first 13 episodes of your series. This could be a log line for the A story and a log line for the B story. And what this does, and you really have to recognize the, the intention behind this part of your pitch document is to show that you have a huge well of story to be telling and sharing with regards to this concept. So it really is giving people an idea of how you see the show and the fact that you have a ton of ideas, which is what it will take to sell your show. So that is a peek at my formula for a pitch document and uh, that will be included in the product among many, many other things. You will also uh, see video breakdowns at utilizing my system against actual shows and you'll see me breaking them down. So I've had so many writers tell me how valuable this is to their learning process. So I did this with a number of shows in this product uh, and I'm very excited because I think it really does help the writer to hit the aha moment uh, in the learning process. So that gives you a glimpse on what to expect on my product that will be launching in October. Please keep an eye out for my announcement on Facebook and on my newsletter. And if you're not on my newsletter, you can sign up at www.jengrisanticonsultancy.com or www.jengrisanti.com. Thank you so much for joining me.